Hello everyone, my name is Colt McCandless. Uh, I am the team lead for the performance section of Chrome Developer Relations. Uh, and tonight I want to talk to you about the joys of static memory JavaScript. Now, I'm going to let you know that um, I gave a great talk uh, at the HTML5 DevConf early this year in April. And I had a little section in my talk about static memory JavaScript. And bar none, the most questions I got was about static memory JavaScript. And so I actually went back and actually wrote this presentation a couple months ago, and I was very happy that Peter allowed us to do it tonight. But it was really interesting because when we tried to get this thing together, it was like really it was a one off shot, right? Like we had to get the guys from Europe in town, and they only had availability for a window, and then we had to figure out like what day of the week we had availability for like Google's facilities and catering and all this other crazy stuff. And it was the most random shot in the dark for us to end up on September 19th. Now, I'm in a room full of nerds. Does anyone know what September 19th is? Arr. Yar. Arr. Yeah. Now, um, now, I'm a very simple man. And I had to stand in the mirror a couple days ago, and I had to ask myself how much of a man I was if I could take this opportunity to give a talk on the most random shot day to be able to give a talk in front of a room full of my fellow nerds and actually do the entire thing as a pirate. <laughs> my wife didn't believe this was possible. I showed it to her on Google <laughs> that this was a thing. And so I'm going to ask you tonight, can we do this? <laughs> Listen, you Bill Drax. I'm asking you, can we do this? One more time. We've been giving you free booze. Give it to me again. Arr. Arr, now that's the crew I be looking to have tonight. Aye. Now tonight we be talking about one thing in common. We be slaying the waste monster. It's vile tentacles be keeping your applications from going too fast. I lost my leg and got a new one. That's the why I hate it. My name is Captain Mainroach, and I'm here not to save your bodies because the monster be taking those. I'm here for your souls. Well, the application souls really don't care about you, but we need a refund on the, I'll get to my point. If you be hearing anything from Captain Mainroach tonight that you want to be tweeting, make sure you be using the right hashtags because we had those back in the day. <laughs> and also be making sure that you visit our web performance group on Google Plus. It'd be a great place for a bunch of mutin mutineers. That came out wrong. All right, this is a little well rehearsed. Make sure you visit it. Sign up at goo.go slash webperf. <laughs> now listen here, you mutinous yellow-bellied dogs. I'm not here to listen to you wallow and wane about whether or not you like the JavaScript garbage collector. I'm here to tell you that it'd be a vile beast that'd be taking everything from you. Because as it does its evil task, it's going to be taking away a little bit of your frame rate every single time. <laughs> and I'm not here to debate your dogma I don't care what gods you live to, be that of managed memory or static memory or dynamic anything else. I'm here to worship one god alone, and that be the one of application speed. Can you say R? R. One more time, R. R. Hey, application speed. <laughs> so stole your noise tonight. I won't be debating whether or not JavaScript's the best language or the worst language, but I'll be telling you how to make your applications fast because that's why you're here. Hey. Hey, you're learning. That's good. <laughs> so I'll tell you the trouble with memory. Now, many of you may not be versed in the wild seas of sailing around memory problems, but I tell you, I've been there. I lost my hair and my family. It'd be a vile place to be. From the depths of hell, memory management come and it take you. It take everything in your life. I'm here but a husk of a man trying to make sure you do not follow the same path. Let's tell you why. So when you're out sailing with your buccaneers, having a good time writing your web applications, sooner or later, one of you is going to drop dead. <laughs> In your web application, one of them will be running around, allocating memory or adjusting the DOM, and sooner or later, it'll have one too many pints of beer and die. We're pirates, it happens. But now I tell you this, its corpse won't go away. No, your crew have better things to do than remove it. Instead, you'll leave it on the ground, festering. When the rats come and pick at its bones, and the gnats come and lay in its eye sockets, and the gulls come and feast on its flesh. And only then, 
Only then when the monster gets a whiff of the piles of corpses that you've been leaving around in your application, only then will it summon its bulbous arms to your poop deck. <laughs> poop deck joke, that's good. Poop deck, more <laughs> poop deck jokes, okay. <laughs> and when this beast come and find your vessel, it doesn't know who is living and who is dead. It's a blind beast filled with hate and rage. It'll bring its tentacles up aboard your vessel and it'll sniff every one of your crew to figure out which one be inactive and which one still be on the stack, ready to be used again at a future date. <laughs> and when it finds its evil prey that it's been eaten on, it'll take it away from you. And only then will your dinghy be operating at peak efficiency, now that all the corpses have been hauled away on your behalf, you lazy captain. But I tell you this, the beast takes away as much as it giveth. Because your schooner be going fast on its mission. It be hitting 60 knots per second. Everyone knows that's the magical speed of a boat. <laughs> and as it be going at 60 knots per second, all of a sudden those piles of corpses will rise high and you'll hear it. You'll hear the vile beast coming from afar. It's hate and it's dread and it's demon-filled life coming aboard your vessel and it'll stop you. And it'll take away those knots and stop you to zero. And all of your men aboard your ship will stand there idly and wait for it to do its demon-filled task. Meanwhile, your users are standing there asking why your ship is not moving. <laughs> and you can't be like, it's the monster, it's not me, because they blame the captain. And then you get fired and you have to talk like a pirate all day. <laughs> and when it's done with its deadly task, it'll let you on your way, only to catch you again in the future. This be the cycle that it lives and breathes off of. Your reluctancy to allow the corpses to lay around because you've got better things to do, like CSS. <laughs> R.I.B. a ventured pirate from back in the days of C++, where a man had to manage his own memory and his, you know, stack overflows and threading problems and kernel issues, but that'd be a simpler time then. We didn't really have user interfaces back. It was mostly a command prompt. Moving on. <laughs> and what you be even needing to know is that this monster can strike at any time, any time it chooses. It doesn't matter what you think it should be doing, it's going to do what it wants. Being a callback handler, or when the frame is updating, any time your JavaScript style dinghy be floating on the water, it'll rear its ugly head as it sees fit. And you should know that the most important thing about your vessel is that it stays constant at 60 knots per second. It doesn't care what you want. It cares for the flesh it's come to claim. Aye? Aye. I see some scared in their house. They're like, where is he going with this? <laughs> Are we talking about memory or fishing? I'm really unclear right now. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll, it'll come down. <laughs> now, here is a great chart, lads. Your yellow-bellied sea betters may be looking at me and going, listen to this angry man. He'd be thinking garbage collection's a bad thing. I'm a friend with that beast. We go drinking on Friday nights. No, it is not your friend. It's just using you for free drinks on Friday nights. <laughs> I've been there once. I will talk about that later. If you get nothing from me diatribe this evening, I want you to be remembering this one. This is a map built by the most evil of satanic of scientists that, that follow this beast around. And what you be looking at here is two distinct groups of lines. The first group is done by the responsible captains who send their crew to the evil task of managing the dead themselves. Now, I, it does take a little bit more memory for the captain to ensure that the crew is doing the right thing, tossing its shipmates overboard. But you can see on the other side is the one where the Kraken, the evil corpse monster, be doing the work for you. Now, these lines mean nothing right now, but I'll tell you what they do show. On the bottom line here, these numbers chart out how much memory the system has relative to the application that be running. Oh, for your nautical folk, how big the sea is compared to the size of your ship. Aye? Aye? Aye! Aye! More beer, aye. <laughs> now what you be seeing here is three distinct areas that I wish to be pointing out this evening, because you'll find the treasure soon, aye? <laughs> First is you see the bad zone. If your memory is between two and four times the size of your vessel, ye be screwed. <laughs> you want to know why? 
Because this kraken beast, this hate-filled, demon, vile-covered spawn monster be larger than you think. And when the body of water that your schooner be floating in be small, it has nowhere to put its hefty load of lard. So it must put it upon your vessel, all the way on the poop deck. You ask for more poop deck jokes, I'm going to give them to you. You have to laugh now. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty laugh fairy. <laughs> Now, when you end up in this second region here, you're doing a little bit better. You can see that four to six times the size of your memory requirements are you be about average compared to what your crew be doing manually. This is about the sweet spot on mobile devices today. These little devices that they have that track all of your movements as you're going about eating your food and plundering and pillaging in all your pirate ways, right? This is where you be sitting with your memory. But unfortunately, that's not where the sweet spot be for your vessel. Nay. Your ship needs to be in a wide open ocean between six and ten times the amount of memory that your application be needing. And it's only then will you start to see the hate from this vile corpse monster actually be mitigated. Because the water is able to hold its massive rows of flat, flesh eating, corpse filling, vile drinking fat. <laughs> Unless you're here, you be screwed. So make sure that your JavaScript class schooner knows what the size of the water be going in. If you remember nothing, remember this graph tonight. Arr. Arr. Now I will tell you, there be one vessel on the seven seas that seems to escape the corpse monster many times. And in fact, many have said that it be the fastest JavaScript vessel in all the world. It's known as the SS Scripten. Do you know the vessel? Aye. I said, do you know the vessel? Aye. Aye. You want to know why it's so fast? Because its captain is damned. Hey. <laughs> Everyone's really confused right now. Is this an open source boat that we're talking about? <laughs> because that means lots of people are damned. <laughs> open source boat, that would be interesting. That's a new Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah! And the reason that its captain be damned is because you know what he does. He doesn't let his crew die. Nay. When he sails from port, the first evil action he be doing is he slaughters the lot of them. Slits their throats standing on the deck and let the blood flow across the planks into the water. Where the sharks be feasting and the gulls be squawking and nesting. And you know what he does? He brings a single shaman on board with his deck. And that shaman doesn't let these poor men die. Nay, he keeps them in some trivial state of not dead and not living. Not dead enough for the corpse monster to come aboard. He manages the dead objects on his ship. Yar. Is anyone getting that yet? Okay. And what he'll do is he'll summon a corpse as he needs it and revive it, and then send it back to dead by slitting its throat again. Aye, this be an evil captain, but what he does well is he escapes the Kraken monster once again. It can never seem to catch this SSM scripting because it can never find it because the corpse is never rot and ripen. You see, this evil, bile-flowing, covered with boils and rank and fester and alimony taking... Um, uh, uh, okay, so I, I feel I should tell you something. Uh, it is true, the, uh, the monster and I were once in love. Our, um, you see, I was a young buccaneer and uh, hadn't seen much of the world, but you know, uh, that we grow and we change and the monster and I parted ways. Uh, but we're not here to talk about me tonight. <laughs> but he does take half of me blo doubloons every month. <clears throat> My job tonight to be keeping you away from the path that I be taking and teaching you how to use the techniques of the SM scripting to keep your dinghy moving fast. So we'll start with your own concept of a corpse pool. So when you be getting your mates on your vessel, make sure to slaughter them thusly. Usually across the neck works fine. If you get any fancier than that, it's just showing off. I mean, really, come on. We be pirates, we simple folk. Now, when you need a task done, or you need a crewman to achieve a goal for you, the best thing to be doing is reviving him. Use your dark magic. And what you need to be doing is, you need to remember that this corpse, it has the memories. It remembers who it used to be. So when you grab it off its corpse pool, you need to give it new clothes and set its properties so it cannot remember who it used to be, and instead assumes the goal you want. And when you have a demon-summoned, dead-filled, evil corpse to do your bidding, you must usually make sure that it follows that path. And it does the most evil, heinous thing that you can task it to. Generally making the world a worse place for common folk. 
Take a second to let that think in, a zombie on Sept Yeah. That would get very awkward very fast, Yar. And when you're done with it, much like the SSM script, then you slit its throat and put it back in the pool and let it float away. Again, this will keep the Kraken monster from actually coming to board your deck and taking away your speed. And this is some hieroglyphs from an ancient time, but I'll walk through them anyway because I happen to speak it. So you can see that to use such a thing as a corpse pool, the first thing you need to do is actually grab a corpse and revive it, and then set its properties accordingly, like, you know, where it will spawn in the universe are. Do a jig, walk the plank, and then when you're done, slit its throat, throw it back on the pool, and then make sure that any clothes you may have assigned to it, you cast overboard to Davy Jones' locker. He happens to sell things out of the locker. That's why it's a locker. It's actually a second-hand pirate store. See, our, that's where we get most of our clothes. Our. <clears throat> What will happen is when you use this sort of pattern of corpse pools or object pools, what you'll be seeing is that your memory will slowly grow over time. It'll be riding a wave that will never end and your ship may never come back to shore. It'll just slowly be increasing. Now what will you notice though is that you'll be spending a lot of time in here moving between all these ranks. And it's worth noting that under the hood, JavaScript may be doing something that ye not be planning as captain. And as captain of your vessel, you're in charge of its fate. Aye? Aye. It's not in charge of your fate. It's a boat. You're the captain, aye? Aye. So don't let it do what you don't want it to do. Arr. Do you know under the hood what happens when you have a pool of corpses and you add another one to it? Well, if you've actually maxed out the number of corpses and you add a new one, you know what your boat be doing behind your back? It'd be creating a new pool of corpses double the size. That takes a lot of extra memory. I don't know how to say that in pirate better. <laughs> that was a little failure. That's OK. <laughs> We're doing this on the fly, R. <laughs> now let's say you continue moving forward again. And once again, you get to the point where instead of 200 corpses, you add yet another. And then you have to move to again to 200 to 400 corpses you'd be moving to. Now, what is interesting about this is that every time you add a corpse to the pile, your ship have to go back to bay and make more room. You need to make changes to your hull to accommodate all the corpses you'd be having laying around. But once your hull has been destroyed, you have to rebuild it. So you have to deallocate the previous array in order to make room for the new one. This creates more waste for the corpse monster to come and fester and bleed and take away from you. It's be taking your time, lads. It's not a good thing, Our Oh, you're getting bored now. Arr! Arr! Don't worry, there'll be more booze soon. <laughs> really, what you need to be thinking ahead, as the captain of your ship, how many dead corpses will I need to get this job done? Yar, tell that to your manager. <laughs> that be CEO level thinking there, Yar. <laughs> yes, Yar, you see, we can't ship a self-driving car, but how many corpses can we fit in it, Yar? <laughs> I guess that's the question you ask in Las Vegas, Yar. Some people got that. So what you need to be thinking of is how many corpses you need. And instead of actually going back to harbor many times and rebuilding your ship and getting more corpses, instead, you need to think ahead and hire the corpses and kill them ahead of time. <laughs> and the question that you have as simple pirate folk who are very bad at math is how do you determine the number of people you'll need for this evil task you'll be setting forward? And mostly how many knives will you need because they kind of dull over time. Now the proper way to be doing this is an iterative testing loop. Again, that really didn't translate to pirate. Just follow with me. It'll make sense in a minute. So as your ship be going out, you need to be running tests. You need to run through what you think the average duration of your journey be. And you need to be figuring out how many corpses you be needing over that time. And every time you adjust and change and rebuild your ship. And as you be doing all this, you be remembering or logging out what your maximum number of corpses be or your average number of corpses or how many of them are bald. Then you be telling me because then I'll be upset with you. We're mostly discriminated against us bald pirates. We don't have the facial hair, and so we can't go to all the parties. Yeah. <laughs> Once you have really been done through this process, and you remember how many corpses ye may need for your final journey, only then can ye embark. And when you do your final journey, you'll know ahead of time how many objects to reference and keep, and how many corpses to slay. And what we'll end up seeing is that your memory profile will look a little bit more stair-like. Yar. Yar. And the number of corpses you need will statically decrease. And you need, to go, you need not to go back to the harbor so many times. That means you stay on the water longer, and you stay faster, more often. Yar. Yar. The wind in your sails be the best one of all. Yay. 
Now, sooner or later, you're going to need to slit yet another throat, even though you've pre-allocated your corpses. And when you do this, you need to be thinking back about what your ship be doing without your knowledge. <laughs> Will you let it go ahead and double the arrays every time? <laughs> that was the most awesome response ever. <laughs> Yar? <laughs> N nar? <laughs> Nay? The best was I saw one guy over here go look at his buddy and go, yeah, Nate, nor, no. What if we just say no? You think he'll point us out? Quit talking, he's looking at us. The answer is nay, you not be letting the ship do what it wants. You are the captain, you make the rules. You are! And instead of allowing it to double in size every time as your application needs it and your DOM changes and your objects move, instead you be using what we call a linear growth array. Where instead of actually using the standard array object, ye be using a linked list of type static arrays. So as you add a single object, rather than doubling the size of array, you only increase it by certain amounts. You can be a hundred corpses, or a thousand corpses, or a platoon of corpses if you choose. Either way, they're the king's men and they're free. <laughs> Sorry for the British in the audience. Yes. <laughs> Now the linear growth array actually be good because you'd be amortizing the cost of the corpses over many, many corpses. So every time you allocate a new array, you're actually amortizing the death of all those because you do it once. <laughs> it's tricky pirate math. <laughs> Lookup be easy to do in this structure. You can simply index into it with a little bit of magic and fluff and dust. You be get finding what you need. However, deletion damn near be impossible. I, I do not recommend that. Don't do that during a job interview. It will, it will reflect on you badly. I'm not saying I've done that, but do not try that. The point here be that this is an apt suited container for the growth of static corpses on your vessel. It allows you to grow, it allows you to pre-allocate, it allows you to stay fluid when times change, yar. And that's be the pirate way. <laughs> Now, for all of you in the audience, you may be saying to yourself, I have no freaking clue what my memory be doing. Yar? Yar. 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 Welcome aboard, mateys. <laughs> that was the most hearty yar. Yes, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I am so lost right now. <laughs> Thanks for playing along, lads. For those of you who be looking to understand what's going on under the hood of your deck, you need to be looking at a couple of tools. To start off, st stick with Chrome developer tools. It actually be giving you a pretty good understanding of how many corpses and objects be used along the duration of your trip over time. And with new tooling on the bottom, it'll actually tell you what heap these corpses be coming from. Be they the audio heap from the southern regions of France, or they be the rendering heap from Jamaica. <laughs> they be a spicy lot, lads. <laughs> Anyhow, stop here. Make sure you run your application through the tools, figure out where your memory is going, and adjust accordingly. Ye be the captain, aye? Aye. Another great tool that's just come out. However, the shitty picture was all I could find on the internet. <laughs> because for some reason, they don't have anyone who could put up a more high-resolution photo of the damn tool. It's a good tool called Adobe GC View. And no, I couldn't get it working, so I couldn't take the picture myself. Yar. <laughs> This is a fantastic external tool that will allow you to do memory profile analysis from multiple different browsers, yar. So for those of you out here who may be saying, oh, Captain Main Roach, you're kind of off the plank with Chrome only, check this out. But seriously, put up a better picture. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I'm a pirate and I'm calling you out, yar. So lads and lasses, my crew tonight, thank you for listening to me. Let me give you some tips on how to avoid this evil building mulch monster. First off, Know that this monster be eaten away at the speed of your ship, and that not be good. If you don't see the garbage collection be hurting your frame rate, you're not trying hard enough. Build a better application. Yar, I'm calling you out, yar. Yar. T-shirt for that man. The rest of you, to the planks. High corpse churn summons the monster. If you be moving lots of objects around and not doing your duty, then the corpse monster will find you. It'll slow down your vessel, and then you'll be cursing all day long, and I will be sitting back laughing. <laughs> Kill your crew before you sail. <laughs> sail them as zombies. I dare every one of you in here to tweet that right now. <laughs> Kill your crew before you sail. Hashtag perf matters. <laughs> The bald pirate told me to say it. I'm not crazy. 
Know your corpse count by testing your voyage ahead of time. Be the captain of your vessel. Don't let it control you. You're in charge. Yar. That one hurts. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> Too many. I need to stretch my yar. <laughs> when you need more corpses, make sure you linearly grow. Don't allow the ship to do it. You do it yourself. In honest, I miss the corpse monster. Uh, we, we did separate, and there, there were little ones involved. Eh? Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll be back soon, you know, with the new primitives in C++11. There may be a chance to get a better high-performance allocation system where I may not have to manage my memory myself. That's a separate discussion. Anyhow, Yar, thank you all for listening to me tonight. And I'd like to remind you that we won't be taking questions now, but we will be doing it at the end of the night in a fireside chat manner. Yar, thank you be for listening tonight. Yar.